Hi and welcome to History In Focus. I'm Adam Kavner, here with Gary Webster from Archaeological Diggings magazine. And today we're going to talk about some very interesting things, I believe, Gary, is that right? Yep, more rocks, Adam. More rocks, more rocks, but rocks with meaning. These ones are incredible. You've probably heard of Belshazzar. Belshazzar I've heard of. He came after Nebuchadnezzar. Exactly. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. He's mentioned as the next, you know, in the, in the history of Daniel, the story of Daniel. And he's the guy with about the writing on the wall, you, yeah. you know. The writing came during the big feast they were having. And then that was the end of that it. That was the end of him at the end, you know. So people said, now, wait on. This, this Belshazzar, we've never heard in history of this guy. And so historians said, this, this is a myth. This is a Bible blunder. Which is quite an often thing for historians to, to do, isn't it? Try to disprove the Bible. It has through been. saying, yeah. Over the years, it's happened many times, and each time like this, it seemed to be quite correct, the Bible, that is. So what proof have we got here that the well, Bible account this, is right? First of all, the Bible says um, Belshazzar was the last king of the, the Babylonian Empire. Yeah. And historians said, well, hang on, that's not true. It was Nabonidus, you know, and there's lots of writing about him. In fact, this is called the Nabonidus Chronicle okay. and the Nabonidus Cylinder. Okay, so... So no this, reference to... Ah, well, hang on. This, uh, when they read these things, they found, hey, now, wait a minute. It actually mentions Belshazzar by name in these tablets. Now, but was he the king? That's another question. But then they discovered, yes, he was, because it mentions on the, one of these tablets that, listen, this fellow was a co-regent with Nabonidus. Nabonidus was off in a place called Tema, yeah. and he left his son Belshazzar in charge of the city of Babylon. Okay. So he was the last Which king. isn't really an uncommon thing in today's standards for no. there to be dual rulership over large yeah, kingdoms. Babylon was quite a large region. So historians realized the Bible was actually correct. And so it was even correct when you think Daniel, Daniel says, uh, Belshazzar, when Daniel told him what the writing on the wall meant, he said, well, you'll be the third ruler in the kingdom. First Nabonidus, then Belshazzar, then Daniel, you see. So that, that all came together thanks to these, these sorts of tablets. There you go. So it's just one more time where the Bible's proved to be true to account. And Absolutely. I guess, it, it's you know, not myths and legends. Yeah, yeah, which quite often actually probably more so today than ever before people are trying to poke holes in it wherever mm. they can, aren't they? they yeah, and th but this helps us to see that it's, uh, it's, it's factual. I think something else that's very important, you know, Nebuchadnezzar, that, the, the one before, uh, he, he sort of said, God, I need your help, remember yeah, yeah. Uh, that story? And, but sadly, this guy said, I don't need God, you know? And yes. uh, Daniel said, listen, God holds your life in his hands. Uh, why, why don't you pay attention sort of thing? But he didn't. No, he was too busy feasting and he carrying was, on, yeah, wasn't he? he was. Yeah, well, that's quite often the rich kid, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for that, Gary. Another faith-affirming rock expedition. Stay tuned with us. We'll be back with more Record In Focus after the break.